Chevrolet. <laughs> Someone just sent me a video that I made in 2010. I did it again. Moving up to the LS series. Eight bolt wheels, three quarter ton. All the fruit and nuts has moved to Phoenix and I met them all. Try to buy a Suburban or a 98 6.5 crew cab, long bed, four wheel drive, diesel, blah, blah, blah. Went to look at a dually Chevrolet. I just went to California to get the deals. Gas is 75 cents more a gallon here, so I guess the big stuff doesn't move as well, and I'm in habit. One hour over the mountain from Palm Springs, and I just bought another Suburban. I was at the Palm Springs Toss after I put a deposit on this baby. I'll tell you how I bought it in a second. And, uh, core of air for him. Yes. Oop. I'm at the fan belt toss after I put a deposit on this yesterday and a guy calls me up. You sent me an email for a Suburban. I says, is it is a three quarter ton or a half? He says, oh, it's probably a half ton. I said, go count the wheel lugs. He counts up the wheel lugs. He says, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I said, three quarter ton. Has it got a sunroof? He says, yeah, probably no sunroof. But it's in Long Beach. There's too much traffic going to the beach. So we stuck with this one. And here it is, it's a six liter with 256,000 one owner, original title, one owner miles. It's kind of shiny, it's had some repairs and a few scuffs and dents and dings and dongs. And we haven't really driven it, so don't tell anybody. The owner that had it had some hard water deposits from something and he took a scotch bright and he scotch bright, scotch brighted the paint. And ooh, so a little bit of the door had some hard water marks and he scotch brighted the door. So this may polish out with the right guy. I think he's done. Well, that's hard water. Michelin tires are four years old. They're kind of thin. Frame is kind of rusty. Yeah, right. It's got a 4L80. It's got a tailgate. It's from California. I got it all full of my junk. Lots of good Corvair parts and some center caps and a 455 Buick air cleaner and gloves and R12 Freon and a trolley jack and 4x4s and 6x4s and coil springs and all kinds of goodies and booster cables and all kinds of good fun Corvair stuff. Squeak! Squeak! And some San Diego Corvair t-shirts. They sponsored the event. We had a great time. We love it. We got some extra Eight bolt wheels from California. We got some other ones. We got to go pick up some Z28 wheels. So, got lots to look at here, but we got to hit the road. We got a six liter with 188,000. We got an F150. We've got a Formula 1973. We've got a Corvette frame with a really bad body inside, 73 or four. And all kinds of goodies in California. Monte Carlo 71. All kinds of stuff. El Camino, ready for restoration. 1964, ran when parked. Or something. She's rough all over. We got a Pontiac Sprint Ventura hatchback. We got some guys. Oh no, look, back here. Oh, we got some more stuff? I'll fire this baby up in a minute. I was going to buy some tires and rims today, but there's only one tire shop open. And he's got two 265-7016s. Atlas, made in Thailand. Nothing else, no new tires. I wanted to put some 285, 75, 16s on on some nice wide rims made in China. But no one's open today in Hemet, or in Palm Springs, or in Cottonwood, or Wickenburg, or Phoenix. Everybody is closed on Sunday, so I can't buy any tires today. Guess we'll just drive to Cottonwood, look at a Corvair, and spend the night in Phoenix at a friend's house. 454? Yep, it's just my buddy's. No rust. 85? Uh-huh. Road runner with a big LT1 hood scoop. This ought to buff out. Yeah, this is what you find in California. Rust free. Leave it outside with the windows open, doesn't matter. It never rains. It's actually a bit cloudy here in Hemet. Just a little bit of surface rust, a little bit of patina. Look at this. Good tin body. F85 cutlass with kidney spokes. This has got deluxe seatbelts. Look at that. Look 
Look how nice those are. Deluxe seat belts. Love it. Only in the front, 1965. It's funny, it's got full tinted glass, but no air conditioning. Got a two speed jet away, push button radio. Full tinted glass and deluxe seat belts. How do you like that? Why would they do that? Got a C10 short box. Got a bit of junk here. Oh, yeah, extra hatchback body. And a Monte Carlo with a little bit of rust, not much. Doesn't rain much here in Southern California. Monte Carlo. There's your staple shifter. This one's been around the block. When I was a kid, my friend's father had one of these. We went for a few drives and my feet froze in the back seat. Then he bought a 76 Monte Carlo or 75, black with red swivel buckets. We drove it to North Carolina and blew the transmission in Fayetteville. Turbo 350 burned up with 40,000 miles. Had it rebuilt, blew up again with 75,000 miles. He said to me, we were driving to North Carolina, he says, it's slipping, I'm going fast. I mean, the engine's going faster and faster and the car's going slower and slower. Yep. Oh, look at this. When did you ever see that? The bushing is in place. How do you like that? You can use a hex bushing as well. Oh, power windows, power locks, tilt, cruise, no clock, gauges, AM, FM, cassette, stereo, air conditioning, and lots of cat smells. <laughs> Look at that. I wonder if you can convert this to four-wheel drive. I guess you could do anything. Dually with a 454. And it's not an 87. If it's an 86, it's got a carbogator. Yep, big block. Rat motor. Mark IV. Chevy had their canted valve rat motor, and Chrysler had their street Hemi, 1966. Oh yeah, welcome to the desert. This thing looks really original. It's got the smaller alternator. There was a bigger one, not too rusty. How's the transmission fluid? This thing's been sitting for a while. Well, turbo Hydromatic 400. This thing looks pretty original, and it's not rusted. I'd like to take one of these and convert it to four-wheel drive. I've got the parts. Just who's got the time? i got enough projects. Oil is full and not too dirty. Remember that 350 I wanted to put in from that 70 Pontiac in the junkyard? And the oil was like coal tar, Mr. Spiked Punk. Chapman alarm systems. Air conditioning. Hydro boost. Cruise control. All that needs is four wheel drive and we're good to go. That's all it needs. Easy to convert it. Put a Dana 60 up front. We got the old milk truck. Let's go back and take a look at my Suburban. Crank that baby up. I haven't even driven it. It's some railroad tracks. It's got 256 and I read about the rub through from the oil pump in the transfer case. Very interesting. The oil pump jiggles back and forth and it wears through the rear housing of the transfer case. And the way to do it is to take the transfer case out of the vehicle because you can't get to the C-clip in the vehicle. I thought those were Corvair. <laughs> Corvette looks just the same. Transfer case rubs through from the pump. So there's two different kits and one of them you don't have to take as many parts off of the transfer case to install this little thing so the locating tab on the pump doesn't rub through the case and get a little pinhole leak. I looked at it, it's not leaking, but it really should be removed and this little kit put in this little ring that costs 20 bucks, but it's a big job. You gotta drop the transfer case, take off the back, and watch the videos. There's lots of videos on it. So old alternator, fresh oil. I looked at a few of these, wasting my time in Phoenix. All the fruit and nuts have moved from California to Phoenix. 256,000 miles. I was here two days ago, and I fired it up. I didn't drive it. Don't ask me why. How's the mud? Not too bad. 256 one-owner miles. Got the original title from when it was brand new. Look at those plastic things. Those are trouble. Trouble in River City. Yep, just looking for trouble. Let's fire this up. I saw a couple of these with 8.1 liters, 496s. We'll just pass on those. Crank her up! Yep, starter's weak. Yep, the starter drive or the solenoid. This is going to need a starter. We'll stop at AutoZone and get a spare starter for the trip. LS motor, truck motor. 
probably has that PCV issue, the one that I changed for the orifice one on the other one that was still burning oil, the two-wheel drive from Knoxville. So that's it, we'll take you for a spin. We're gonna meet the guy that's got some rims for me and uh, we're here in Hammett, California. And we're heading for the hills. Off we go. From California. All the fruits and nuts. I'm heading to Arizona, that's where I'm going. In Durango, and no, not Durango, in Peyton, Colorado, to the junkyard, and then to Fort Payne, Alabama, to go pick up a truck and a trailer. That's the plan. <laughs>